Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do today is learn how to make a wet mount slide for your part two of your diffusion through a membrane state lab for the New York State Regents. So in order to make a wet mount slide, you need to start off with two things. First, you need your glass slide, which is the long rectangular piece, and you need your cover slip, which is the plastic square. Once you get your slides and cover slips out of the baskets at your stations, what you need to do is you need to grab the water bottle. Now, you'll have two bottles, one that's a salt, one that may not say anything, or it says H2O on it, okay? So you want to put away the bottle that says salt on it and use the one that says H2O or nothing. And you want to add maybe about two to three drops onto your glass slide here so you can put your specimen in it. When you are done, please come up and see me for a piece of onion. I'll give you a piece of red onion, and what you have to do is you have to either break it apart or peel off a corner piece of it, and you want to get a piece of the red skin, a nice sizable piece of red skin off of the onion, okay? So once you get that, if you want to use a pair of forceps, tweezers rather, okay, what you can do is grab your onion skin and then slowly and carefully place it in the water droplet on your glass slide. All right, so what you want to have is the specimen in the water because now what we're going to do is lower the cover slip. Once, so what you have to do next is take your cover slip, oops, that plastic square, and you want to kind of position it on your glass slide, and you want to put one side of the cover slip onto the glass slide and hold up the other side with a pen or a pencil. Once you do that, you want to slowly lower it down to the glass slide, and once your pencil hits the glass slide, start pulling it back so the water starts moving across the bottom of the glass slide and depending on how large your specimen is okay it should fall this specimen obviously is a little thick or maybe the skin is folded over so it's not going all the way but as you can see the water is now engulfed around there so that's how you make a wet mount slide the second part of the lab is going to require you to well first of all you have to look at this setup here and then um, draw what you see. You want to draw one cell and how it's positioned in regular water. The next part of it's going to require you to draw it after the onion cells have been introduced to a salt solution. Okay, so to do that, you're not going to lift up the cover slip and dump salt water in it. We're just going to take our salt water bottle and we're going to put some salt water on one edge of the slide, maybe a few drops, a few small drops. And then what you're going to do is take a paper towel, take the edge of the paper towel, put it on the opposite side of the drops because you don't want to wipe up your drops. And make sure you get a nice thin edge. The point is to have the water come across and as you can see the salt water is being pulled into the wet mount underneath the cover slip. Okay, so you want to hold this for a while until the water stops moving into the paper towel or until you don't see any of the salt water on the side. And when you're done, then you can pull the paper towel off, give it a couple of minutes for osmosis to happen, and then you can put this on your microscope slide or microscope stage and view it under magnification. Okay, that's how you make a wet mount slide for our lab.